So James, we get a lot of calls about sick maple trees and the, on the larger varieties like Autumn Blaze that are really popular or October Glory, um, a lot of times um, we start noticing problems on the trunk or on the foliage. So what are some of the things that you see? Some of the things that I see when it comes to those maples specifically is one, depending on where they are, you know, in the yard, they might get burnt up or leaf scorched or something like that where it's really hot. And, you know, whenever the, those leaves start to, uh, uh, you know, crinkle up and fall off and die, the tree is obviously going to, you know, photosynthesize less. And then that's going to leave it more prone to secondary invaders or other stress factors. And, uh, you know, another big issue that we see, you know, with maples or autumn blaze, October glory is uh, something called an armored scale, which, you know, is a, not necessarily a secondary invader, but it just tends to like maple trees a lot and they'll actually steal nutrients from the tree. And then once again, make that tree more likely to succumb to all those other stress factors, whether that's, you know, you have the scales mixed with underwatering or the scales mixed with overwatering or the scales mixed with, uh, you know, bad sunlight exposure or, you know, things along those lines. Yeah. Um, another problem I see with them is, is when they stay too wet. Uh, a lot of times I'll get a call on a, on a maple and I'll go out there and it's July and the thing is already in fall color. It, the tree's red. Uh, it's maybe chlorotic. It's got some tip die back. It's really stressed. A lot of times that's due to poor drainage where the bottom of that root ball is just staying wet and it's stressing the tree out big time. Uh, alternatively, sometimes it's too dry and the leaves are turning brown and scorching. Um, I, I've noticed one difference where if, if the tree's too dry, the scorch on the leaves tends to be brown. But if there's an oxygen deficiency because the tree's buried too deep or has too much mulch on it, the scorch on the leaves is black. And that's one thing that I've just observed uh, through the years and looking at these trees. Yeah. And then w once all that starts to happen, that's when you get the, the wood boring insects and, you know, things that will, you know, kind of finish the tree off, not necessarily the, the cause of death, but one of the executing factors. Yeah. So I, I think the point that we're both trying to make is that uh, if you can avoid the overall stress, that you're going to have a lot fewer problems, but it's knowing what stresses them out and what and what keeps them healthy is is the trick